how to view your keywords on a heat map. Why is this important? How can it make you money? Sometimes you want to just look overall at how you're doing on an entire product, like all the keywords on a product and kind of like visually look at it instead of looking one by one at the graphs. You kind of want a, a easy representation on are you getting better with your rank? Are you getting worse with your rank? Right. And actually, you, you've always been able to sh uh, see that inside of Helium 10 uh, in Keyword Tracker, but you have to look at each graph now. For a couple of years, we've had this tool for our advanced sellers called Market Tracker 360. And in Market Tracker 360, we've always had for keywords something called a heat map where I could look at different time periods and then have this like color coded visualization of where my keyword ranks are. And a lot of customers were saying, you know what? We want that in the regular keyword tracker instead of just Market Tracker 360. So we made it a priority to make sure to bring our heat maps into keyword tracker let me show you how to access it once you expand out one of your products you could click on the heat maps tab now here on the heat maps tab you are going to see now a visualization of your ranks and obviously green is the, the better number it's kind of like towards the top of the page red is worse red means that you're not ranking at all if you see something that says 306 plus that means the last time helium 10 checked you were not ranked. If you see something yellow, that's kind of, you're still on page one. And then as you get to the bottom of page one, it starts changing colors. And then you get to page two, it gets orange. Now remember, Helium 10 is checking three, all 306 ranks. Other trackers out there, they're only showing you up until about position 100 or 150, which is only two pages. Helium 10 is showing you all seven pages. Now here, I've got a nice visualization from September all the way to October 20th. Are my keyword ranks staying kind of steady? I could see that I dropped off for a few days over here on one of my main keywords. So that's kind of like a cause for concern. If I was trying some special campaign, I would expect these colors to be getting better as the days go by. Now uh, I can customize this, right? I could say, for example, hey, I only wanna see the page number, right? This is what page I'm on. Hey, I'm on page one, page two, page seven, meaning I'm not ranked at all. If, if, I, if I'm on page three, page four, it'll show up here. Also, I can go from present to past. In other words, I can have the oldest date be here on the right and then have it go more towards now to the left instead of opposite. Whatever your preference is, you'll be able to go ahead and set that up. Now, do you notice this little like gift box picture right here on the date? This is showing you when there are holidays. So here in the United States, Monday, October 14th was Columbus Day. And so that's why there's a little gift here. So then this kind of like calls out special days, uh, special shopping days and holidays. So you can kind of just take a look. Hey, what happens to my listings when there's a holiday? I can also see the days of the week. So maybe I just want to take a quick look and hey, on Mondays, are, is there something going on on Mondays for this rank um, that you know I need to know about? And don't forget, it's not just your organic rank that you can see on this chart, but also your sponsored rank history. If you hit this toggle right here, you're going to be able to see your sponsor rank history. And as you can see, most of these keywords I am not even advertising for. I'm only advertising kind of like for Coffin Shelf and Manny's Mysterious Oddities. Now, if I wanted to hop over here and take a look at any of the uh, actual Amazon search results on my browser, I just hit this button next to the keyword and it'll go ahead and load Coffin Shelf right here on the spot. Now, if you notice, there are some red dots on some of these dates. That's because this is the these are the days that I had boost turned on. So if I just have uh, no red dot, that means I didn't have boost on. It's not going to uh, show me anything if I click the the rank. But if I click the rank on the heat map on one of these dates that I had boost on, it's going to tell me what my highest rank for the day was, what my lowest rank was and what my average rank was. So guys, don't forget, if you just like to see the traditional way of uh, keyword graphs, you can have that view on your default view. But if you like to see a more visualized uh, progression of your ranks, don't forget to use our super cool heat maps. <laughs>